here I'm just shooting a quick video about the RAV4 Prime so I was just doing some generator maintenance here all right on my portable generator here this is the one I use to charge my electric bike when I'm at the racetrack or if there's no place to charge it at all right and as you can see right now the uh, RAV4 EBSC is plugged into the charger uh, into the generator all right and it's charging my RAV4 right now <laughs> okay so so yeah that's something interesting right there all right so yeah it is char it is actually charging look at that all right and it is working hard right now <laughs> I think it's like yeah it's 12 amps it's pretty much the maximum you know the generator doesn't have much of a problem but yeah it's just, it's gonna charge in like 10 hours but it is charging as you can see okay ready to go away uh, anyway yeah you saw it was charging um, Okay. So yeah. Uh, so one thing I've learned about that EVSC is that it do, it will work even if there's like a floating ground. All right, no matter what, it'll charge. All right, um, because it worked on my 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 inverter when it had a floating ground on it too. So um, that's something interesting because the Clipper Creek EVSCs. They won't run off of this because I've tried it before. I used to have a Clipper Creek EVSC for my Victory Impulse TT electric bike and it would not charge off of my generator. But this one will. So that's something interesting. I've, I've never seen the EVSC. That, uh, well, it's only the other, only other EVSC I've ever used that's for 120 volts and it works, okay? So if you look here, I got a, I got a Clipper Creek EVSC here. I have the Victory branded one. This is the level two charger, okay? This one plugs into 240 volts. But, but yeah, I had one very similar to this, okay? And I would get a ground fault light on it, okay? Um, and then it wouldn't charge. But this one it does. I do know the Teslas, I believe the Teslas you need to have the, uh, the, the neutral bonded for it to work, okay? You need to have a, uh, you, need, you can't have a floating ground Okay. But anyway, yeah, I was doing some generator maintenance and I had to turn the generator on to see how it was and it looks like it's running fine now. So I was having some trouble with it at the, um, at the track. So it's always good to run the generator every once in a while and why not, why not charge my, my RAV4 with it for a little while. Do a little uh, low test on it, <laughs> so I say, but it, it charges it just fine as you can see. So not very fast, but it'll do it. I do notice sometimes the, the RAV4 will stop charging for a little bit and then just start charging again. Watch, it'll start ramping up. See, it'll slow down and then speed up. But it doesn't overload it or at all or anything. So this is a 2000 watt generator. And I, I, yeah, I said I was doing maintenance on it. I checked the spark plug out. The spark plug gap was kind of was too big. That's probably why it wasn't running so good. And I just cleaned the air filter. And I know I put oil in it not too long ago, so I don't think I have to worry about the oil right now. But, but yeah, I can actually charge my RAV4 off of this generator. So interesting, interesting. Now another thing would be, can you use a turbo cord on this? Could, will the turbo cord run off of this? That's a good question. I'm not sure. Anyway. Um, That'll be another video. But anyway, you can you can use this, the um, you can use the Toyota EVSE, all right, the one that came with your Rav4 Prime, with a portable generator, and it will charge without having to have the neutral and and uh, ground bonded, all right. Um, I do know the Clipper Creek ones; they want to see that they want to make sure that your neutral and ground is bonded. So, yeah. All right. Well. Looks like it's working good. Hey, <laughs> here's the big out.